it's the modern foul scrum and here we are it's uh, sam and pat and paul and lara and uh paul you were in first um how are things going with you anything blocking uh blocking you at the moment no absolutely not um, i've just completed the one story uh so i'm looking for another one all right so. okay. good stuff yeah so i guess you want to chat with pat about that at the top of the scrum then uh yeah see if he has any ideas on, you know, what would be a good one to uh, go with. All right. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, we can uh, get to that at the end of the scrum. Great to hear that you've got no blockers. Uh, let's go on to Pat. Pat, how are things with you? And is anything blocking you? No, um, I'm fine. So th I think on SHF, I produced like two or three PRs yesterday. We're kind of refactoring. Now, we, we've produced so much functionality in such a short period of time. <laughs> we've mm. decided to slow down on major chunks of functionality and let the client our clients catch up right um, and so we're in the process of documenting refactoring things like that hmm. um, so there's that on met plus I've been reviewing PRs I merged a couple last night with two new contributors Thomas and uh, Joe and I merged your PR this morning Paul you, you had some failures yeah. you noticed in CI but I've seen this two or three times before we seem to get deadlock on the database but we run the test yeah. again and it clears up so you're yeah. good on that and I created a bunch of stories this morning, in fact, for additional testing to increase our coverage. So we Absolutely. have a lot to choose from. Yeah, that's great. Um, on the NHS stuff, I did try to access the first wiki that you had set up, Sam, but I couldn't. It says I didn't recognize me. Against agileventure.slack.com. So anyway, I've, mm. I've gotten into PB Works and Nucino, yep. or something like that. So is there any particular script that you've developed that we could walk through to explore these things? There is, and yeah, maybe let's um, let's look at that at the top of the screen. Okay, yep. great. Yep, all right, no blockers for me, and that's it. Excellent, excellent, thank you, Pat. Uh, Laura, all right, how are things going with you, and is anything blocking you? Okay, um, so from my side, I haven't been doing much coding this morning. I had another telephone interview, which went really well. Um, then what did I do? What are we doing? Oh, and I've been trying to draw a bull now. Oh, yeah. Anyway, very, very interesting. Very, it's been an interesting journey because it's a specific bull and every time I draw it and I show the client and the client will say, no, it's not right. So, mm. <laughs> so that's my only blocker is getting the bull right. Um, and then other than that, uh, I will carry on with my RSpec testing this evening. Right. I have no, block yes. no blockers. Oh, and I've signed up for all these wikis that you've sent through. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, that, that does seem that's in there's something delicious about, you know, we just can't get the bull right. Um, exactly. Is that not the problem for, for uh, organizations around the world? We just can't get the right bull. It, uh, <laughs> ah, fascinating. Crazy. Fascinating. Good stuff. Um, yes, excellent. So, uh, yeah, the, my report, I, I've spent the morning. Um, working through different wikis um, and inviting people to wikis and so on. Yeah, I'm just, I'm completely focused on the NHS wiki stuff for doing these, uh, basically I got, I got a two hour chunk of doing user testing tomorrow. Um, I mean, I, the design sprint is, is still not really off day two in terms of actual progress um, and, and it'll be more kind of light, lightning demos, but I think I'm, I'm gonna use the opportunity to try and see how the, the, the staff there interact with W wikis with 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 less prompting when we were doing it last was it last week now um, in a video session I was kind of like driving and they were watching and of course that's not very um, uh, good for gauging their you know how able they'll be to use the wikis other things are going on we had a lovely uh, elixir mobbing session yesterday uh, had a good half an hour like sort of a hack DevOps on async voter with uh, Raphael and trying to get him and, and actually Lara joined us. Um, Kind of dev, or was it admined up for that, so that um, you know I'm not a blocker for the async voter project going forward. Um, we've got the Ruby mob coming up today. We've got the marketing meeting coming up. We've got um, a Redeemify meeting. Yeah, and then I'm into town tomorrow, so I probably won't be in the Scrum tomorrow morning. And then I'm off uh, next week for a week uh, to bathe my head in a bucket of ice until it all cools down. Um, yeah, the key blocker that I have at the moment, I try. I was trying to push out the website one, and there is some kind of like time zone gem or something or time zone i think actually maybe it's an npm package that's like failing to link up and it's 
Yeah, so I'm kind of blocked there, and uh, it's one of those things that's going to need sitting down and looking into, and probably like upgrading the npm package or what have you. But um, it's preventing a production deploy at the moment, and that's kind of a pain. So, hmm. But uh, I think, um, yeah, I uh, go on. I hate those situations. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to put that to one side and get this um, get this NHS uh, next stage done first. Uh, there's also the de deadline tomorrow for this uh, for a grant submission for uh, EU funding for about fifty thousand euros that I'm um, talking with Sigu about, and uh, maybe we'll get a chance to put that put that in. But we'll we'll see. Uh, yeah, so that's our Scrum Scrum done. Um, do you, um, the Paul and Pat, do you want to work work out the that thing now? And will that take long, or what, what's your what's your preference about sequencing? Because we've got we've got two things left over from the Scrum. One is finding Paul yeah. a new thing to do, and then the other thing is just to talk about the testing scripts for um, uh, the wikis. It shouldn't take long. Uh, it won't take us long. Do you want to uh, do you want to want me to start another session once Paul and I have concluded? Uh, or I can break off this, go to one with Paul, or, well, or you guys can just hang out. Yeah, why don't, why, we, we, we'll hang out here. You, you do your thing, and uh, yeah, I mean, we've got 20 minutes before the marketing meeting comes up. Um, yeah, why don't you do your thing, and, okay. and we'll see how, see how it goes. And, and if we have to drop off, we have to drop off, and I can email you, uh, Slack you separately. Okay, great. I uh, just want to point out, Laura, have you seen that, um, that comic that I linked in the uh, chat there? Uh, no, let me check there. Yes. I am sure that you will be able to relate. Anyway, let's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I love it. Great. <laughs> if, you have, if you don't know about the oatmeal, you should. He's great. He used to be a web designer. Now he's a full-time comic guy. So. Okay, great. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, um, Paul, let's take a look. Okay. Uh, do you want to share or shall I? I'll, I'll go ahead and share. Okay. Um, let's see, where am I? Let's see, what do I have? I know I have that open somewhere. Here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Can you see my screen okay, Paul? Yes, I can. Okay, great. So, uh, let's see. It has clean up. Let, me, let me just look real quickly at some of these. So, this is a trivial one. We have a helper method. This thing called list jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, th you know where I think it used to be used in the old jobs index view, which you changed, of course. Yeah. So this then I gave it a. Why did I give it a two? It should be a one. Um, we just need to remove that. So a PR to remove wow. that. That would take you about 20 minutes. Actually, the longest time would be waiting for the test to conclude locally. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's another one here, another in terms of cleaning up. This is another partial that's not in use. I think it used to be used in the old jobs index view as well. So that's right. another cleanup thing. Um, again, that's like a five minute job, right? And then just wait yeah. for the test to add. Yeah, that one. This one might be a little, actually, that's not the one I wanted to look at. Let me find something interesting. Because I've done a couple of easy ones. So yeah. Then I'm due for something a bit more. Yep. Yeah, so those ones you can peel off and kill them off and then move on or just leave them alone. It doesn't matter. So this one, we need some tests for this particular controller. This controller here is actually a controller that inherits from the device controller. And device gives us these hooks to put functionality in there as needed. So in particular, this particular method, is the, which is the only one we override in this controller from device, um, we actually call the super method in the device class, the super class. And then once that returns, we check on the status of the user model that's returned, and if it's got well, you can see the logic here, and I put in the story basically what's happening. Right. Essentially, if we, um, let's see. If it's a job seeker and they're registering, um, then we go ahead and create an event 
called JS register. And you know what happens with events, right? Yeah. Browser yeah. pop-ups occur and emails go out and that stuff. Um, yeah. Otherwise, if we have a user error, that, that probably indicates, as noted here in this comment, that the user, you know, as you know, when a user registers, they get a confirmation email and they click on a link in that email. Yeah. The first time they click on the link and they go to the site and they enter the password, they're registered. They're good to go. If they click on that link in the email a second, third, or whatever time, then um, what we do is we capture that and we basically um, allow Super to render whatever it was going to render and we put up this message which it says you've already been confirmed. So you don't need to click on your email again. So that's essentially what's happening here. So we just need to basically create a controller test. Yeah. Um, that test these actions. Okay. It's a little strange because it's not one of, we're overriding device controller, but essentially the logic is straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you just create some test objects and force the path either way. Yeah. Does that look good? Yeah, that'll help me get to know the device a bit better. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. I think um, mm -hmm. there's a good Stack Overflow story that I put here having to do with what we're doing here and how device allows us to override some of their functionality. They, they enhance right. their, their um, class models, their instance models with the, they can take a block. So after we, they execute their super, we can do other stuff. That's what's happening here. But, but read that stack overflow messages or page yeah, as well. Okay. So that should get you started on something, huh? All right. Is that okay? That sounds good. All right. Okay. So let's, uh, Turn it back over then. Um, Sam, you want to take it away? Sure, thanks. Yeah. Uh, so I, I've I've written up this little script. I mean, I, I, all, all my thought processes kind of went into a blog draft mm -hmm. that I've. I mean, uh, let me just see my screen uh, here. Um, so, like we've got the this is NHS Wiki, uh, you know, private channel. This, this is this sort of sequence of things that, you know, very roughly, we're saying like, you know, just have a go at doing each of these, and seeing how you find it in the interface. And my plan tomorrow is to sort of fill this out a bit more and, and basically ask that I've got two staff members to t to to run through this. Scripts. He said, "Been doing air quotes without any kind of camera, so you could enjoy the air quotiness." Um, there you go. Air quotes from that angle, and let's have air quotes from this angle. There you go. Oh, love it. Right. Um, so, yeah, and I'm basically trying to pick like three solutions for them to try uh, tomorrow, uh, and I'm sort of narrowing it down. Um, anyway, does the, does the script make sense there? It does, but I was wondering if you also want to, at least for our purposes, maybe not for tomorrow with the client, if yeah. we should test some of the moderation and the commenting. Well, absolutely. I mean, there's the process commenting control. Yep. There's, is, you know, I mean, I've got a little note to myself in the uh, thing about about moderating each other. I, th I think at this stage, the thing is we've got, like, the system might have wonderful moderation support. But if the interface isn't usable in the first instance, then it's kind of a blocker. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Oh yeah. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm. T anyway, th this here, this I, I've been. I don't know if you know. I've been going back up and re-editing this link. So like all of my uh, blogs are linked in here, including the latest one that I've just been working on today. Uh, I, as I was just noting in um, the the in here, Pat, I, I've, I've put a few more options in the spreadsheet. Um, but I've kind of ruled. I've ruled out Wagon based on its interface. Um, the, here's the blog there. But so I've actually got Wagon, you know, Ruby on Rails wiki running locally. That wasn't too difficult to set up. You know, it's the kind of thing we could deploy onto Heroku. But they've got this thing where, like a couple of other ones we've looked at, where inserting an image involves giving a URL. Oh, and I, it. Yeah, it's, it's kind <laughs> of. I mean, there's this fairly clear separation between the wikis that are intended for more sort of technical folks who are happy with that kind of thing and you know i i think i, I might i might be wrong i might be wrong i mean the the, the interesting thing with the, the the blue spice which i was playing blue, blue spice media wiki as as you know i mean its interface is using the whole media wiki thing which again is this kind of 
it's not Markdown, but it's like MediaWiki syntax, right? And so when you edit the page, yeah, you end up uh, kind of seeing lots of brackets and things, and it looks almost a little bit like a programming language. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A little intimidating. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I, you know, I don't know if I'm being, um, what's, the, what's the word, or I'm stereotyping there. Just, I've been doing all these interviews with all different stakeholders, uh, you know, none of whom have ever edited any kind of wiki online before. And, um, yeah, I just wonder if that might be a bit of a showstopper for them. Um, I think you're absolutely right on tr track. The fact that they barely have time to talk to you about the requirements means they will not have time nor patience to learn the system if it's at all mm. esoteric. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I kind of, this was the process here of, like, Tetra, I think, is kind of an interesting thing that it integrates with Slack, but then, you know, I, I've, I've put that to one side. Um, we've got, so we've got Nuclino and PB Works. I mean, both of these like come with price tags of like ten dollars a user per month and twenty dollars per user per month. Uh, like the Nuclino, we can try for free. We have to start paying in order to unlock the um, the moderation stuff. So it's kind of you're absolutely right that we need to test the moderation stuff. Um, the 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 other complex factor is working out what pricing model we can uh, we can afford. Um, I mean, I think it, what I'm seeing for tomorrow is I, I'd sort of been thinking originally, oh, I must try and deploy, you know, something like, like in my mind. I was like, oh yes, I'll get Wagon, I'll get that up in Heroku, check how the deploy was, and then the interface. But actually, you know, and and, and then I, so I, I use this thing called Wiki Matrix, mm -hmm. and it uh, spat out like you know loads of different other alternatives. So some of the usual suspects. Um, mm -hmm. But in particular, quite a lot of for, for, for hosted ones, there's there's like TiddlyWiki and Node.js, there's Perl, Python, Java, and so on. Um, the, I think the critical thing with any of these is being able to get to a working prototype like that, and then seeing what the the interface editing experience is is like. Uh, so I've, I've kind of on that basis, I've pretty much excluded all of these, with the exception of XWiki, which actually has you know a not unpleasant interface. And it's open source, and it has hosting options, and so on. And you know, I did seven years of Java. I mean, I, th I think the the reality is it's going to be what's the so here you go. This is the thing, and you know, what set up there. And I'm in like in a playground here, and immediately I'm in in there, and it's got you know an interface where you can. I've, I inserted an image earlier on, and so on. Like it, 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 it feel it, well. That that'll be the trick. So I'm sort of leaning towards. Tomorrow, that I might have them play with uh, XWiki, PBWorks, and Nuclino is the three that I'm mm -hmm. I'm thinking of. But yeah, is this X XWiki is that something we would host, or is that hosted? The, this is this has this is open source. We can host it. That we can we can pay for hosting. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's options both ways. I mean, I, I'm going to need to have a, a discussion with the big guy tomorrow because I think the the thing is like we might work out tomorrow that they might let, let's say that the guys are saying. My guess might be that they prefer Nuclino is slightly cleaner. I might be wrong. But let's say they're saying, oh, yeah, we love Nuclino. Um, and so then it's got, OK, well, we want to need to unlock the moder moderating. You know, that's going to cost $5 per user per month. Um, you know, they want this to grow. <laughs> you know, and if it was to become very successful and then we were signing up hundreds of users, our entire, if, if, if we're paying for the hosting, our entire budget's going to go on that. And, you know, we even go into the red. Uh, it's not. Clear to me what um, the what, what the right way forward is. There is it's quite a it's a really complex, you know. Like do 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 I negotiate with them and say, well, you know, you want this thing that can be used in principle by anybody in the country, but we're going to have to limit you to fifteen users because that's all your current budget uh, covers and so on. Well, I'm just wondering, is there expectation that we'll have a chosen candidate by the end of the day tomorrow? No, I, I don't. Well, you know, I, I think they'd love to have it. You know, uh, a chosen candidate by the end of the day tomorrow. I don't know that they're going to get that. Um, well, I, I'd, I'd, certain, I'd certainly like to be in the situation by the end of tomorrow of having done this further evaluation of three candidates and be well on the way towards uh, saying, okay, like well, maybe we'll be able to exclude one of them as a result of the usability testings, and then we'll have two, and then we can do like an, a much deeper dive on the uh, permissions and, and, and so on. I mean, I, I, I get the sense that Nuclino and PBWorks and um, XWiki all, all support, you know, moderation. I mean, particularly like XWiki's got, you know, quite a complex moderation framework. There's then, there's then this next round of question of pricing and, and moderation. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that makes sense. As long as they, the, the expectations are set with them, that if yeah. they really love PB Works because it's easy to create content, it could be a deal breaker <laughs> when we find out that it doesn't really do all the sophisticated moderation yeah. and process control that they, I mean, they want to publish, review, and then put it out for public access. There's, there's some sophisticated stuff that they're asking for, although they don't realize it. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think they're, they're kind of asking, they're asking for the world. And, and, they, yeah, and they only yeah. had so much thing, and, and they, they want, I mean, they kind of want uh, a system that's going to be, you know, usable by almost everyone, um, but also that's going to be under control and, you know, that it's going to have these wonderful, wonderful health outcomes, which, which I think, you know, if, if would be great to do. It's just, you know, doing that without, <laughs> within, within the various constraints is, uh, is a tricky one. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I'll, I'll, I'll find some time today to bang out Nuclino and PB Works today. Yeah. So any input you have on the usability of that, and then um, you know, in, in the background, yeah, from 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 this spreadsheet. So, like for these three, if if you get a chance to, or I mean, um, e even if you like, if we split our things, so if if Lara was looking more at the usability side, and you had a go at looking at these um, other areas, that particularly the ones that we've got unknown on Blue Spice. Uh, then um, that would be very helpful, Pat. Um, I guess the other thing is whether I should be, um, you know, putting Blue Spice or a Media Wiki version in there, just so we get their feedback on trying to do editing in Media Wiki, or if we rule it out a priori. How bad is Blue Spice in terms of? So, so you stood it up and looked at, or you just did the the online demo? I, I, I took the. I mean, I, I downloaded it, but then I was like, I. You know, yeah, stand I'm, on I'm, sure I could, I'm sure I could stand it up if I want to, and then they do hosting as well. Um, yeah. The you know, it's fairly. It's it's like it's Media Wiki with extra bonus stuff, right? Is basically what Blue Spice, Blue Spice is. So the basic editing experience of Media Wiki oh, of Blue Spice is 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 Media Wiki. The kind of double uh, square brackets and and things that you see when you edit a, a Wikipedia page. Oh, yeah. um, so I'm kind of like, hmm, you know, uh, th th there's there's certainly some staff members there who I think could handle that and may even embrace that, but um, you yeah, know, not sure. Well, if it were me, I'd go in there with just the two, or maybe the three, if you like Tetra as well, and tell them that we've only really poked, it's, we're moving so fast, we've only been really yeah. able to kick the tires on the editing, the look and feel. Yeah. We still have to investigate as a team yeah. uh, the ability to do their moderation, content management stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to get their f feedback on the, these candidates at this point. Yep. We're not done, you know, given our recommendations. No. Which oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, the danger is that they fall in love with one of these, and that particular one cannot do the content management stuff we're talking about as well as yeah. the other. Well, I mean, I, I think what I quite like to be convincing mm. them is that it, 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 you know, for something like this, it's a bit inexpedient to rush towards releasing something that can be seen by everyone. Like it seems to me that in the first instance, independent of all the other stakeholders, they've got a knowledge management issue of. You know, they're doing this research for these, particularly for these commissioners, and they, they at, the, at the moment, their pipeline for getting that research to them is this laborious process of lots and lots of Word documents finally turning into a PDF, which is then kind of like, right, that's available for download, but it's already gone out of date, and there's new studies. <laughs> and, and kind of, like, more, it seems to me, in some ways, in the first instance, more important, although they're saying, public launch, like, in the first instance, more important than anybody in the country being able to view all of this, right, is the ability for the researchers who are working to try to support the commissioners having a mechanism to kind of like have a, a, an ongoing editing and update process so that the commissioners, rather than only receiving polished documents every six months, can sort of see the process and kind of get a bit more involved in the process. And, and yeah. you know, so if, if it was a private wiki that just supported those two stakeholder groups, I think that actually might be more effective in terms of get, get, giving them the outcome they want, which is the positive healthcare things than necessarily a public launch. But that I've got a meeting tomorrow with the main guy to kind of talk about mm -hmm. this. There, there's, there's a big bureaucracy and different influencing factors. You know, maybe there are other other reasons why something will have to go public uh, sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah. I must let, let good, good good chat. Um, I'm going to break for the multi meeting uh, at the end of which we, <laughs> you know, we could discuss more of that if we need to. But uh, otherwise, I think we're hopefully on the same page. Air quotes, air quotes. In, in, oh. Japanese, in, in, in Japanese, they do it with the square things. It's like this is air quotes in Japanese. Right. Okay, uh, I'll catch you guys all later. Bye for that. Bye for now. Okay. Bye. Bye.